Hello everybody and welcome uh, to today's stream. Uh, before we start, uh, let me apologize um, uh, because I realized that um, my setup was wrong and I didn't have any sound in the past two streams. <laughs> so nevertheless, thanks everybody who, who watched and then left in frustration, I guess. Um, I'll actually uh, re-record streams so that um uh, so so that you so, so that you have them i'll probably do that um on, on new year's or, or new year's eve um so that um you know i don't i don't miss uh, anything in the in the channel so uh what we're going to discuss um today is how to use uh, numbers to paint yourself into a creative theorization corner and um, the idea here is uh, um, that you know at the, in the back end of a, a qualitative paper when you're building theory um you know you need to come up with uh, multiple dimensions multiple distinctions and so forth right remember that um when we discussed uh, how to structure um uh, a qualitative research paper we talked about having a model and having uh, a table right and the table is where we make our theoretical contribution so uh, the idea, what I want to discuss today is how to use numbers to build that table. And um, basically, um, the, I follow two rules. The first rule is um, this rule that there's nothing better than a good distinction and a cold beer. So um, a distinction is a distinction be between two things, right? So um, uh, the method that I use to uh, to write papers begins with a number two, where I try to uh, split a specific uh, field of research into two approaches, two perspectives, um, and so on, right? And basically, the argument is that in the current literature, we have one approach, and then, uh, but there's a possibility for a second approach. Uh, and that's what uh, my paper is typically about. So that's the first thing, the number two, making a distinction. Okay. Now, the real danger here, and I actually was pretty sad because I got that as a feedback in my in one of my recent papers. And uh, this is such a newbie mistake that was like, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm doing this like 15 years after I finished my PhD, but I guess I'm still doing it, which is, um, you know, doing a, a straw person, uh, argument right where you you unfairly uh, sim you do an oversimplification of the current literature just to say you know this is one perspective here here's here's my new one so I I did that which uh, sucks but anyway still happens happens to the best but that's so that's the first number number two okay then uh, the second set of numbers um, that I use um are for the results uh, section so if you if you think about it a, a results section is typically uh, 15 pages uh double spaced uh can can go a little bit over um so you are basically looking at seven um practices uh you know seven codes or code sets if you will um, and I, I use that number as well so what i try to do is i try to group my practices into seven, um, eight sometimes, occasionally could be stretched or died, but definitely no more than that because that is, you know, pushing the, the, the space that you have available a lot. You need uh, one and a half pages to do a good job in presenting a practice, to have data, multiple bits of data and, and, and good interpretation. So I force myself to write at least a page and a quarter, a page and a half for each, for each set of practices to make sure that it's deep enough, that I'm providing uh, enough, enough uh, evidence that I'm doing uh, subtle interpretation that is subtle enough um that you know is, is is rigorous and at the level that is expected in 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 top journals so that's also a number that i use one page a page and a half per practice seven to nine practices um 
uh, and that that sets up the number of pages for my results section but also like really forces me to you know to do um a good description a good explanation of of each practice of each code of each code set um that i that i find uh, in in my data so for you know so these numbers sort of like forces me to to do a good job to think creatively about theory and theorizing um so number number seven a page and a half it's also a number finally uh, when I'm building the, the table, um, you know, this is the sort of the second half of the discussion. First half has the model, second half has, has the table. And that doesn't mean that, you know, there's always a table, but, you know, but you need to, to sort of have a, a discussion that engages with, uh, with, with a theoretical um, framework that you have in, in the theory section of the paper. And normally what I try to do is I go for five points, okay? Um, five, I, you know, it, it's a good number. It's a little bit of a stretch. It's obviously it will be easier to think about three distinctions, but five like really pushes you into, you know, into doing some, uh, at least pushes me, you know, obviously my creativity and, and genius is, are limited. <laughs> so it really pushes me to, to come up with a, with things and um you know I, I i've had especially in my uh dramaturgical paper 2013 ms quarterly piece that paper has um you know one uh, one or two points that um you know ended up in i think the most interesting points in the paper and they were just me like trying uh, tr trying hard to come up with with item number five or sometimes with item number four or number five, right? And I don't give up. I always, I always really try to push it to five uh, rows on the table or five points that, um, five related points that I'm using to speak uh, to the theory that I invoke in the in the theory section. Um, so that's how I use numbers creatively. Now, what I want to say, I want to do a hot take, <laughs> and my hot take is uh, two by two tables suck. Um, because two by two tables, uh, you know, so you have these four cells. Um, I think you're you're just uh, shoe uh, shoehorning stuff uh, into 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 categories. Because in the two by two table, okay, you have four things. I have five. Okay, one more or one less, that's okay. But the problem with two by two tables is that um, they have column and row headings, and uh, those are two for each. Um, and these two are from one dimension. So you really shoehorning uh, your data or your model into in, in a way that I, I think is is really counterproductive. You're just, just trying to do a table because it's it's a, a comfortable artifact. So I'd really urge you, please do not do two by two tables. Uh, either in the discussion or in the conclusion. Okay, uh, you're just you're oversimplifying theory. You're oversimplifying your theoretical contribution for the paper. Um, now, final thing that I want to to tell you is uh, this is um, you know one more thing uh, that I want to tell you is um, about the use of uh, words. Uh, to be uh, creative, okay? And this for me was major in, in my Transfiguration paper, MS Quarterly 2018, uh, because I had the, this idea of, um, of transposing. So moving from one information system uh, to, to the other. And this was based on, uh, on on data that I saw in, in a previous paper. So I'll show you what I do. I just go to, you know, as you know, uh, words are, are, are formed from, from roots, right? And, and trans is, is a root, right? So what I did is I, I, I went to the dictionary and this is the basic dictionary from uh, from the Mac OS operating system, and and I just type the word trans, and then I just like really go through all of this, 
okay like like i just go through all of these words so i have transfiguration transcription and uh i and i don't remember uh, and a transposition i think are the two three trans words that i used okay but you can you know there are other words like transfer uh, transfix transform no transform i did use transform that was it um transfuse um you know so i really go through the words with the same root and uh, and then i go through through definitions right so for example if i have um you know transfiguration transfiguration uh let's go to i don't know transduce okay um convert a uh, physical quanti quantity into an electrical signal. So this, for example, could be um, a, co a code name that I would use if people are writing their, you know, immediate observations of the material world into an information system, right? I, 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 I could use that. Uh, transcription. Um, it's the action of process of transcribing uh, something, okay? So when you're typing, okay? So I could could use that as well. Um, so I really go through through all of the words that have the same root, and uh, you know, and and this is not just a choice of words that it looks good. Of of course it looks good. It sounds good that you know it's almost an alliteration to some extent that you know you have transfigure, transpose, transcribe, transform, transmute, whatever. Sounds nice. But it's not about that. It's that you know sometimes you know, and uh, the idea of transfiguration came from that. The you know I saw the word transfiguration, right? And we can say transfiguration, right? And um, you know, and what really struck me was the word beautiful here. Uh, you know, because obviously there's a little bit of story of uh, of making it appealing to others. Uh, also a little bit of impression management. Um, so really struck me here. So I, I made the whole paper, that's the title of the paper about transfiguration, okay? So that's a, a quick and dirty tip, I'd say, um, to help you theorize. Um, and this is something that I, that, that I do in the discussion, not, not for the codes. For the codes, I, I tr try to name them as close enough as, as participants name their own practices, do it in a simple way. But in the discussion, I try to, I, I, I like to do this because it, real, reals me, it really helps me now in English, uh, bring out the, um, you know, the theorizing, the theoretical contribution of the paper. It's just a, a creative process. Okay, that's it. Let me see if there are questions in chat. No questions in chat. So I just want to say uh, thanks uh, to everybody. Um, tomorrow, I don't know, the, the topic of the stream will be uh, for, for tomorrow. Hmm. Think about that. Maybe I'll, I'll talk about, uh, yeah, let's do that. I'll, I'll talk about like three, uh, we, we, we discussed uh, doing the uh, straw person argument. Um, so I, I can discuss like what the, like the, the three major uh, mistakes I learned from um, during, uh, during my publication career. Maybe that, that'll be something useful. Uh, so I'll catch everybody back tomorrow. Again, my apologies for the lack of sound in the past uh, couple of videos. I uh, hope you have a, a great time. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much, everybody.